Hello, my name is Hannah, and today we're building another apartment. This time it's an industrial, kind of kind of colorful, it's blue. Um, I have absolutely no memory of building this this week. I know I built it, but I could have sworn this was a different, like, a week ago kind of build. Um, but apparently I did build this this week, and it must have been, like, Wednesday or Thursday that I built this, which isn't actually that long ago. But I, like, don't think I built this this week. I was like, this was a this week build, and, like, triple checked to make sure this was the build that I built this week for this vil this video. Apparently it is, but you know, I built this and it is blue. And so I thought it was pretty fun. I wanted to use different colored counters because I don't usually use these counters, especially, and in the colored swatches, like never. Um, so I wanted to go with more tame colors, especially because like this blue color is not bad. It is a pale blue, looks pretty nice. Um, compared to some of the, like, the magenta swatches, those are a little bit more difficult to use. However, I'm fairly positive I, I have used the magenta swatch of this counter before in some of my other apartments, which is kind of funny that I have used the magenta counters more than the actual, like, decent-looking swatches of the this counter. But I wanted to use that, and so I was trying to plan an apartment around these counters, and I kind of was going to go modern, but then I just didn't want to do that. So it's kind of modern looking in the kitchen, kind of different style. I really don't know what to call it yet, um, which is going back to, like, the cup, like first videos that I would make, like, early this year. And I would not know, know how to, like, name them, because descriptions are really hard, and that's basically what a title is. It's just a very brief description, and so it's going to be modern apartment something, but I honestly don't know. But you'll know, because I've posted the video, but, you know, that's really fun. And so I was just going for this, uh, the blue, and then I was going with orange, and, like, kind of like a light orange yellow kind of color the color that's of the wood that you can see right now is what i went with and because i thought that those colors went well together um because they looked semi-decent and also they weren't like entirely clashing and i could find a bunch of things in this wood color so i thought it was kind of fun and then also you see that i used this layout in the living room i usually put the chairs right next to each other but i realized that most people like in real life wouldn't put the chairs right next to each other, especially in interior design when we're putting chairs everywhere um, in like um, room layouts and stuff. Um, we put the chairs in like much different spots than what I would put in like the Sims builds that I've done. And so I'm trying to like move the chairs, branch out with my chair placement just a bit and just like see what I can do. Because my partner in one of my projects was saying that this is how her um, living room was laid out. And, um, so I was like, okay, that's a little bit weird in my mind, because I would put all of it together, but they have, like, the chair and the cu and the couch right next to each other, and then another chair, and so I thought it was a little bit weird, but, um, it doesn't look bad, and it looks quite good, and I feel like the conversation wouldn't be that bad, except for that person can't really see the TV, but, like, this is a more of a conversation thing, and I don't think you talk while watching TV, or at least in my experience, you just, like, don't. Um, especially when you have a group that needs, like, this many chairs. Like, that's five people watching TV. I don't know, unless you, like, watch football or something. I don't know, sports of some sort? I don't know. Yeah, but, um, at that point, you can figure it out. Just put the chips on the coffee table. You'll find out some something for sports. You'll figure it out. Um, I don't think The Sims will have that problem, though. And so, um, I thought it was pretty okay. Um, I was debating whether or not I wanted to put a dining table in here because, um, it's kind of hard to walk around like I guess I didn't really check if it was hard to walk around it but it just like looks like it would be hard but like in real life you'd be able to be okay but in the sims I was just not sure but I ended up keeping it because there was a bunch of empty space in the kitchen to like the dining area like the transition area so I put a dining room there um it's probably okay I I'm assuming you can get around it but um, I, I just decided it looked better if there was a dining table there. And you'll see a bunch of pauses in here. I kept getting distracted. I said this in the, like uh, two videos ago that I just really didn't feel good this week. And so I kept building apartments because I wanted to build, but I didn't feel up to building, if that makes any sense. So I built this one, and so I kept, like, go, like not paying attention. I was like, oh, look, this, and, like, stopping. So, you know, it's, it's very short, very minimal pauses, but you can definitely tell from my side that I'm looking at there. I'm like, oh, there's another pause, and so it's a little bit funky, but that's it for the apartment, so I'm going to move on to what I've done this week. The first thing 
is I mentioned on the first, the last apartment that I had been ahead of ho- on homework because I didn't want to do anything on Wednesday after the pre-ICT. But I was trying to do that a bunch this week because one, it worked really well on Wednesday because then I only, I did one more assignment that I actually needed to after school on Tuesday so I wouldn't have to do it on Wednesday. And then I did my math assignment in one of my classes when I had free time for Wednesday because I'd already done Tuesday's math assignment. So it went really like easily and I didn't have any homework to do on Wednesday. And so when I was feeling more up to it, I think it was later Wednesday, I did one of my other assignments and got ahead on that one. And so I was really ahead on all of my stuff on Friday and I think I only had one assignment. I had to do a uh, reading on Friday and that was it. Um, for all of my homework, and so I was done with my homework at like 4 thir- 4.35, I think it was 5, and that's not bad, because usually I get done with homework at like 6, 6.30 even, um, so I was very happy on Friday, especially I could just go do something else instead of doing my homework on the weekend, and so I think I might keep doing that if, you know, I can get to it, because I am exhausted right now, so we'll see if that happens this week, but, um, Moving on from, like, a d- couple of other things that I did this week. Um, we're doing, like, a backpacking unit in PE. I think I may have mentioned that we were doing tents last week for, like, all of the entire week. But we're now doing fire. And uh, you can tell uh, my class is uh, very chaotic. We have some um, issue children. Um, not, like, issue children in that, like, normal sense. But, like, kids that would maybe set the school on fire if they really felt like it. Um, I've, they've made that joke four times now, or or three or four times, but, um, I'm not surprised if they would set the the school on fire, but they haven't yet, so (laughs) we'll see, but, um, we're starting fires, and so, um, we have had not very much luck, me and my partner. It's also the same partner I have for my interior design project. It works very well with, like, that, so, um, but we, we set a fire to a cotton ball one time. We couldn't get the actual fire equipment to start on fire, like the kindling and like the sticks and all of that stuff. Could not set that on fire. Did not happen. That entire time we just did not work, Um, but you know, that's fine. We were just like, we'll just freeze. It's fine. We'll freeze (laughs) because it was not working and even with the cotton ball we were having a bunch of issues trying to light that on fire. And even the teacher was having issues lighting our cotton ball on fire. And so it was really funny. And um... So we had a bunch of issues, but it wasn't like bad because it wasn't boring because we were trying to set it on fire and it just, it just was not working, but it was, it was kind of entertaining. Um, and another thing, uh, in English, we are doing a project, like a group project in, um, on the Kite Runner that we did. Uh, we finished that last week or this week, something like that. I don't really remember. My sense of time has just left me um, in the last two years, so just don't have one of those anymore. But we're doing a group project with our panel discussion groups that I mentioned, I think, briefly at some point, or an entire video on it. I'm not sure. Those are quite opposites, but that's okay. But um, we're doing a group project, and we work okay together. We um, are very much so more like friends, not group mates, and so it's it's working, it's it's happening, but it's not working efficiently when we're doing our group project together because it's a poster and like a discussion kind of poster kind of thing, and so it's it's a little chaotic. It's um very colorful, can say that, um, but it's it's very weird, but um. There's four of us, which is, we have the smallest group, and all of us don't like talking. So this panel went really well, um, I think I talked about that, um, but the poster, we're all just, like, not having anything to do, and also it's taking forever. It was supposed to be due on Friday, and then she saw that literally no one was done, and we were all rushing, having really horrible looking projects, because we are all just like, get it on the paper now, go. And so, um, she was like, okay, fine. I'll give you Monday. She was not happy about this. This is my same English teacher that does everything else, but she was, she seemed very like, oh, fine, I'll give you Monday, whatever. I thought you could do it in, in three days. It was not even three days. It was two and a half periods. Um, and she just kept talking on Friday for like literally 15 minutes. So I don't, I don't really know, but, um, hopefully we'll get it done Monday. I think it'll be fine, but we have a lot of white space left and she said that it had to be entirely covered. No white spaces. So, um, we'll see if that happens, but, you know, it was a little bit weird. 
Um, but that's like about it for school. Um, we actually are like little side thing that wasn't like school this week. I got like my first email on my like I guess YouTube channel email, but I got an email that was it was like wanting me to promote an app. Um, I was very like this is fake. I don't know if it is. I did respond back being like, actually, I don't have an iPhone, so can't do that because it was like an app, app just for iPhones and like iPods and stuff like that, and I don't have any of that kind of products. But I was very just like, mm. but I checked on like the App Store and like Google, and it seems like it's not trying to give me a virus. So at least that's you know somewhat bright, or I don't know the word, uh, like it on the bright side not gonna give me a virus I don't think but I was I was looking at it and do it doesn't look fake like it's it's you know broken enough to not be perfect but it's not like you know complete trash so I, I honestly don't know but I'm really bad at that but my oral calm my singular two-day uh, experience learning about internet safety and like websites that are trustworthy told me and in my instincts that it was okay but I was still just like yeah, still can't do it. Also, it was like a 3D modeling thing. Um, if you like 3D modeling, maybe, but like, um, cannot do that in, in the slightest. So, but I was just very confused. I was very like, I have 137 subscribers and you're trying to reach me to promote my stuff about 3D modeling. Like 137 is a lot for me, but like for someone who's trying to promote their stuff, like it was a little strange, if that made like any sense. But like, it was very strange, so I was just like, yeah, uh, gonna just stray away from that one right there. But, um, that's about it for today's video. Um, it is almost screenshot time, so this is a very chaotic video, but that's okay. Most of my videos are chaotic, but it is almost screenshots time, so I post four videos a week, so you can watch another video next time. Bye!